G'day guys, in this video we're going to look at how public goods are actually a source of market failure in the form of the free rider problem. So we'll define what that is and we'll explain how it's typically addressed through the government providing public goods, but we'll also recognize that there are alternative ways for them to be privately provided. So a free rider is somebody who benefits from a good without paying their fair share for it or somebody who benefits more than what their contribution would entitle them to. So why would this be a problem for public goods? Quite simply, because they're not excludable. When you look at private goods, free riding is not something you consider a problem. People need to pay if they want to use the good, so people can't benefit from them without paying their fair share. But with a public good, People are capable of benefiting from it by using it, whether they pay for it or not. So would people choose to pay if they don't have to? Logically, you wouldn't expect them to. Consider it in terms of game theory. Say you've got, on the one hand, a single individual, and on the other hand, everybody else, and we assume that neither can influence each other's decisions. The single individual is going to look at it and say, well, I can pay for the good like everybody else is doing, and we can each benefit, so we each get one, 